Okay, you're in Microsoft Word and you want to create a bookmark to a specific place within the same document. I'm going to show you two ways you can do this. The first way is to use bookmarks. Now, I'm going to use this text here to hyperlink to the part of this document that talks about the data model in Microsoft Excel. Now, I need to scroll down to where that part of the document is, which is here. And I'm going to place a bookmark in this position. Now, to insert a bookmark, you need to be on the Insert tab of your ribbon. And in the middle here, you'll see a bookmark button. So if I click on that, I can then give the bookmark a name. Now, a bookmark cannot have spaces. And I'm just going to call this bookmark DM for data model. And then I'll click on Add. Now, I've got words set up so I can see wherever I've inserted a bookmark. That character won't print out, but it will show on the screen, which is quite helpful. If you cannot see the bookmark, like I'm seeing it there, what you need to do is go to File, Options, Advanced, scroll down to the section Show Document Content, and tick this option here, Show Bookmarks. So now all I need to do is go back up to that text that I want to act as the hyperlink. Now, to create the hyperlink, you've got various options. You could use this link button, and that's just above the bookmark button. That opens up the Insert Hyperlink dialog box. Or you could right-click on your text and go to Link. Or you could use the shortcut key, Control k All of those methods open up this dialog box. Now, what you want to do down the side here is go to Place in this document. And there's a section down here for bookmarks. You select your bookmark and you click on OK. So this is now a hyperlink. If I control click on that hyperlink, it will take me down to that bookmark. Now, another way you can create a hyperlink to a specific place within the same document is to create a hyperlink to a heading. Now, in my document, most of my headings are formatted using the Heading 2 style. And I've done that literally by clicking into the heading text and then going up here and pressing this Heading 2 style. But you can see you've got various heading styles that you can use to format your headings. Now, it's very easy to hyperlink to any text that has any of these heading styles applied to it. So say I wanted to hyperlink to this heading here, View Query Dependencies. Let's write some text here. So I select that text, I go to the Insert tab on my ribbon, I go to Link, I go to Place in this document, and all of the headings within the document are listed here. So all I need to do is click on the relevant heading, click on OK, and then if I Control click on this link, it will take me to that heading within the document. Now, if you export this document as a PDF, File, Export, Create PDF, these hyperlinks will be available to you. And in fact, in a PDF, you don't have to control click on the hyperlink. You can just click on it and it will take you to the relevant part of the document. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.